Welcome to American Dream. Thank you for having me, Nisa. As a result of the recent earthquake in Japan, the tsunami, Americans are now more concerned about nuclear power plants, nuclear reactors, nuclear waste. Why should they be concerned? They should be concerned about the radiation that's migrating from the plant. The United States Environmental Protection Agency has found very low levels of radiation. And so any radiation coming from a nuclear power plant accident merits concern. But it's very low levels. Um, the Environmental Protection Agency says that it's nothing to worry about, but any level of radiation that um, people are exposed to, people should be concerned about. The accident itself was an act of God, and so I don't think it will affect the nuclear industry here. Um, not the way, I don't think we'll have the sort of reaction we had after the Three Mile Island nuclear accident, but the nuclear industry had challenges well before the um, Fukushima accident. What's the value of nuclear power? I know it's, a, it's very controversial. What's the value of nuclear power? We were the first environmental group, and I was the first environmentalist to support nuclear power, and the reasons, and that was in 2000 when we started. The reason for me was that it doesn't emit any greenhouse gases, and global warming, global climate change is the most important environmental issue facing the planet today. That's our belief. Also, it doesn't form any smog-forming gases. I'm a chronic acute asthmatic, and so that's very important to me. So in addition to not forming any greenhouse gases or smog forming gases, actually the fuel can also be converted from warheads. And there is a program in the United States where we do convert warheads mostly from, the, from Russia and convert them for fuel that you can burn in the power plants. So those three benefits to me can, uh, led us to supporting nuclear power over a decade ago. You mentioned the radiation that has been found, the low levels of radiation, I think it's been found in the water in San Francisco. And so what levels does it have to reach before Americans should be concerned? You mentioned there are low levels that are now. If it's a continual onslaught of radiation, when should Americans be concerned? Well, I, I know they found air, um, some air incidences. I don't know about the water, so um, we should be concerned. Frankly, we have a recommendation, and we have been promoting it very aggressively on our blog, and that is that the Japanese government and TEPCO, the utility that owns the power plant, they should seal that site. They should cover it. They should entomb it. They should put a, make it into a sarcophagus, cover it. That is our recommendation. Our recommendation, frankly, is a 500 high, 500 foot high sarcophagus that would cover the entire site and cover the radiation. They're celebrating the Fukushima 50, the 50 workers going in there sacrificing themselves to fix the plant, which I disagree with why. Are they trying to salvage the plant? I don't think it's salvageable, so they should cover the plant, frankly, the same way they did in Chernobyl. What are the health issues that people should be aware of if they've been exposed to radiation, even these low levels? Mostly it's the thyroid gland that people are concerned with, and that's the iodine, iodine-131, that's radioactive, that is taken up by the thyroid. So people should be concerned about that. There have been some measurements of that particular um, isotope coming out of the plant. Um, strontium-90, we're worried about that. But any radiation from a number of different sources, Americans sh should be worried about. That's why our recommendation is to seal it and seal it now. Why do you think Americans are not really getting this information about the, the um, health potential concerns of these low levels of radiation? Uh, they are. EPA is putting out notices about the levels, and the media is reporting it. So the information is out there. Actually, some people in um, California, they went out and started buying iodide tablets just in case, and that, that, that's reasonable. So the message is getting out there. I wish the media would provide a little bit more coverage, so I'm glad you're covering this now. So tell me a little bit about the work that you do here. Well, we're an environmental group, and we work on a number of different issues, um, all of the energy issues, environmental issues. We're actually trying to build a wood chip plant down in Mississippi right now. That's our primary project. But we've also tried to get involved in the nuclear business. We've actually tried to get partial ownership of nuclear plants. We've met with executives because we like the technology that's just that much. And frankly, a part of our work is that, you know, blacks do not own any energy infrastructure in the United States. No oil wells, no nuclear plants. And so in addition to buying stock, which you can do, we're really trying to push for more African-American ownership of energy infrastructure, all kinds. Is, is nuclear, is there a preference for nuclear or in, in the whole scheme of energy, how, how does nuclear power rank against natural gas, coal? 
Well, that's the problem with nuclear power right now is the price of the plant. The plant costs about $10 billion. So the industry was struggling with getting financing for that amount of money anyway. And at the same time, the, the price of natural gas is going down because of a process called hydraulic fracturing, where they can now go down and drill sideways and pump some materials into the ground um, area and get more gas out. So gas is really cheap right now. And so that's posing a challenge to nuclear power because it's pretty easy to go out and build a, a natural gas plant. But we really don't want to use natural gas as a base load fuel. Base load is when the plant runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Okay. Okay. Tell me why we should be concerned about nuclear power plants, nuclear reactors, and nuclear waste. Well, there's no real reason to be concerned. Um, they're pretty safe. They have a good safety record here in the United States. No one's been killed. So that was also one of the reasons why we supported nuclear power. I got tired of waiting for the accident. Now, of course, Fukushima happens, and everybody points at Fukushima, but I think everybody acknowledges that that act of God mm -hmm. well, was an act of God, and so what can you do about it? I think it will make, them make the industry pay more attention to the backup cooling system stuff. Okay. What are the health issues um, from exposure to radiation? You can um, absorb um, radiation into your bones. Um, strontium-90, for instance, is a bone seeker. Well, I wish I said that on the <laughs> But it's a bone seeker, and you can get bone cancer, of course. Um, so you don't want to be exposed to strontium-90. Iodine-131 is um, also a radioactive isotope that affects the thyroid gland. So um, that's why people take iodine tip pills. So it's already full, so it won't uptake more iodine. Um, yeah, and I think that was interesting that the rats don't own any forms of energy. I always like to throw that out because it's yeah, quite shocking when you is. say it out loud. People don't think really about that. Is. We don't own not. You know how many oil wheels there are in the Gulf? How many? Four thousand. You know how many we own? Zero. Zero. I don't still need this mic, do I? No. Okay. And so that just bothers me. You know, we're poking around trying to see if we can get a lease down here so we can. I asked. I asked for. Um, BP to donate that well to us, the Macondo well, Macondo yeah. field. Yeah. Of course, they turned us down. Well, then I would have gone and cut a deal with Exxon to develop the field. Right. There's plenty of oil there. So, how long have you been doing this? You said since '79. Since '79. Since '79, yeah. Three Mile Island. Yeah. Accident. We've got a lot of pro projects. Um, and I like this being small. I like small operations. I have bad asthma. And I was a single parent. Oh. Okay. I mean, I almost died twice, so I didn't want to be big and have a lot oh. of too much responsibility for the stress. Right. Um, and it worked out. My son's in college now. I got oh. full custody of him when he was two. Two? Yeah. That's amazing. But anyway, I better talk about nuclear if I'm going to put this <laughs> on YouTube. Um, uh, basically, um, I think the nuclear industry will be healthy. It'll still be a challenge to build the plants, though, because it costs $10 billion, regardless of what went on at Fukushima. Also, as I mentioned earlier, they should really cover the Fukushima site now. 500-foot tall sarcophagus. Um, um, covered with boron, cement, concrete, rubble, every dirt, just everything they need to cover that site so radiation can't be released. They should have done that right away, right after the third explosion, which just blew me away, by the way. Right. The explosion, I'm watching explosions at a nuclear power plant, even though they were hydrogen explosions. Um, okay. Still serious business. Okay, thank you. Got it? Thank you for having me, Lisa. Yes, no, I think that's